expressions from the Bible so well? I mean, how many times have you read it? Uh, I, or did you learn it by heart? No, I, I didn't. I read some of it and then I practiced it and it mm -hmm. became memorized. So did you read the whole Bible and then um, memorize no, no, no. some parts? No. So you didn't read the whole Bible? I didn't re well, I read the Bible, not mm -hmm. all of it, I would say, but most of it. Okay, and then yes. you memorized some parts that you found most important? Yes, because okay. there are many many parts in the Bible which point to me very clearly as a Muslim mm -hmm. that Jesus is not claiming to be God, it's the other way around. He's claiming that he has a God, very clearly. There are verses which are very explicit. For example, John 20, 17, he says, I go to my Father and your Father, my God and your God. Mm -hmm. A very clear, explicit verses. Unfortunately, I've come across many Christians who would leave aside the explicit verses yeah. And they would rather go yeah, for the implicit think, ones. Why? Why would you do that? No, it's not human. It a human being who is logical, who is sincere, will yeah. look at the explicit verses. But I don't think that God but is would logic. Would you say that human? Well, well, what do you mean? Lo logic? God is logic. Are you saying understanding God is not logical? No, it's not. So why would God tell you to love Him with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind? Why would you want you want you to believe Him with all his, with all your mind? No. If, if if understanding Him is not logical, I don't have to understand Him. No, no, I don't mean to understand him fully, yeah. but in, in, in terms of what he has already told us. For yeah. example, God tells us that he's all-knowing. Do you believe he's all-knowing? Yes, I do. Do you believe Jesus is all-knowing? Yes. Really? Did he know the last hour? Hmm? Did he know the last no, hour? No, he doesn't. There you go. So he's not all-knowing. No, see, that's the, th the difference between you and me, because you think that um, I have to... Everything that was said, and said by Jesus especially, because he's the most important figure of Christianity, yeah. There's, there's no doubt about that. Yeah. But I don't have to understand everything he said. Why? Why would you not want to understand what because Jesus said? I believe. I don't know. Okay, I'll tell you what. You know what? Earlier you said that you don't you don't agree with my interpretation. Yeah. Okay? I want you to interpret this for me. When Jesus says I go to my God and your God, what yeah. do you understand? Do you believe Jesus has a God? Mm, no. No? So what does he mean? Was he telling lies when he says I go to my I, God? If, yeah, I remember the passage correctly. He said that he would go to the Father. Yeah, he said that. Yeah, but not his God. No, he said my God in the same statement. Read it, John 20, 17. He says, I go to my Father and your Father, my God and your God. Yeah. This is again, you see, you're, you're basically expressing surprise in passages which are very clear. John, what? John chapter 20, verse 17. 20 what? 20, 17, 1, 7. So 20, 17. Yeah, 2, 0, 1, 7. Yes, he says, I want you to interpret for me, based on that verse, what does he mean when he says, I go to my God and your God? No, he doesn't say to his God, but to his He father. haven't even read it yet. I did. He doesn't say my God there, in your no, version? He says, because I haven't returned to my Father in the heaven. Yes, read the next bit now. Go back to my brothers and say them, I'm going to my Father and your Father and my God and your God. Thank you very much. So he did say that, right? Now you interpret it for me now. What does it mean when he says, my God? I have to look at the context. Of course, look at the context with all due means. See, the thing is, um, I think that Jesus can talk about him like his father and his God. And his okay, that's the, okay, let me ask you this. At the same time, because he's, at, he's um, God and man at the same time. Okay, let me ask you this. Does the father have a God? He is God. No, that wasn't my question. Does the Father have a God? Yeah, that was my answer. He is God. Okay, if I asked you, is the Father God, that would be your answer. But now I'm asking you, does the Father have a God? Ask me the same question. Does the Father have No. Yeah, that's what you think. Now the next question. Does the Holy Spirit have a God? That's contradictory. No, it's not. In my book, it is. In your book, it says that the Holy Spirit takes commands from the Father, yeah, from God. That's totally okay. That's really? Fine. Can yeah. God be commanded by anyone? That's fine. Can God be commanded by anyone? Who commands God? Does that, okay, let me rephrase there's that no question. Commandment, let me rephrase that question. No rank. There is actually. That's the bit you're missing. There is clearly a rank. I don't think so. Okay, let me ask you this. Do you believe God is the ultimate authority? In respect. In authority. You know what authority means? Yes. yes. I think so. Is God the ultimate authority? Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Let her record, no problem. Do you believe there's authority higher than God? No. No. That is what ultimate authority means. He is the highest authority. And there's no authority higher than Him. Okay, now, next question. Is there an authority higher than Jesus Christ? Um, I don't know. There is. Yeah, that's... <laughs> 1 Corinthians 
First Corinthians chapter yeah. 11 verse 3. It says, Jesus is saying, sorry, yeah, well, according to Paul, this is what he says. He says, um, the head of all men is Christ. The head of the woman is man, obviously in a marriage. Mm -hmm. And it says the head of Jesus Christ is God. You know what the head means? Yes? yes. Like Merkel is the head of Germany. Is that right? Is she still? Yeah. Uh -huh. Good. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know. She's, uh, so yeah. So basically head means someone who is in charge, in basically the boss. Yeah. Yes? The president, whatever you want to call it. So if someone is, you already agreed that there's nobody higher in authority than yeah. God. Mm -hmm. But since there is someone higher in authority to Jesus Christ, then he cannot be God mm. by that logic. That's the essential part where I disagree. Which part do you disagree? The because Bible? Because that's from no, the Bible. No, no, no. This argumentation. That is the from the Bible. Sorry. The Bible says the head of Christ yeah, is God. No, no, do you disagree with that? No, no, but I disagree with you because... Which I part do you disagree? What you said. I said the head of Christ is God. And that is a verse from the Bible. So if you're disagreeing yes. with me, you're disagreeing with the Bible. No, no. Do you realize that? No, no. He said that it was illogical. How? Quoting the Bible verbatim is illogical. How? How is Paul wrong? Hmm? How is Paul wrong? Yeah. The one who said no, he's not wrong. By the way, you know when Paul wrote this? Um, After the ascension. So he's no more human body, yeah. but at least not the earthly body. Yeah. Yes? He's now ascended to the Father. Yeah. Yes? And now he is supposed to be with the Father, right? But even after that, Paul says, who is the head? Who is the head of Christ? He didn't say the Father. He said, God, the head of Christ is God. Yeah, that's okay. How but is it okay? If Jesus is God, how many gods do you believe that's in? That's the point. That's exactly what I'm always trying to, to tell you. About. Okay, what is the point I'm missing? Go on, tell me. I don't see a... a there's no problem with God being the... Uh, God being the Father. Can God have a God? No, but there's a, yes, you can. Because can God have a God? Seriously, how many gods do you believe in, by the way? <sighs> no, honestly, think about it before you answer. How many gods do you believe in? No, I'm not asking. I'm answering that because I'm, I'm still not done with the. Okay, fair enough. Thing. Go on. Yeah, sorry. Um, Jesus is talking about his. <laughs> Paul is talking about um, Jesus having a God, right? Yes. I think that's okay. But even, do you agree with that? Even if Jesus and God and the Holy Spirit are the same. They are not the same because one is the God of the other. Yeah, but that's okay. Why that, is it okay? Is okay, I'll ask you again. How many gods do you believe in? I won't answer to that. I just made my last statement. Why would you not answer to that? It's a simple thing. No, no. That's okay. not what I'm Do you not believe in deuteronomy? No, no. What's the first commandment? This is not what the I'm first talking. commandment says here, O Israel, your no, Lord, you God, your Lord God is no, no, no. one, not three in one. You the fact that you're not <laughs> answering such a simple question, I don't know, there must be some reason for that. Yes, the reason is because you want to make me agree. I'm not making you anything. I'm just asking questions. That's all. No, that's I'm not imposing any answers on you. Yes, you are. Okay, how am that's I imposing on you? Tell because me. Because you are asking things of which I am absolutely convinced. Which is? Things like... God as a God? No, you asked me about the first commandment. Uh, the okay, what is the first commandment? I don't know. You don't know the first commandment? Uh, the most important have, commandment? I don't have to. <laughs> you know when Jesus was asked this yes. by a rabbi, yes, what is the most important commandment? What was yes, his response? No, he didn't say love. You see, that's the problem. They don't read the Bible. I, did, I, did I think you have been taught the Bible selectively. And that's the reason you're surprised to see all these verses which Jesus are in the Bible. The, first, the, the, the most important commandment is to love your God and to love your neighbor. It, he, also, he said the f most important commandment is here, O Israel, your Lord God is one. And this is a repeat of the first commandment, the Shema, in the Old Testament in Deuteronomy chapter 6 yeah, verse 4. That depends on your translation. Because that is exactly nowadays, word to word, my friend. It's not a translation. Yeah, because that's right. That's the way in English, if you, yeah, the Shema is basically it's it's it's, it's a creed. Yeah, I know, yes? I know that. It's yes, in Israel, and yes, yeah. only one God. Yeah, there's only how many God? One God. Yeah. Yes, you believe in one God, right? Yes, I do, but I also believe that this God can be three at the same time. That's fine. You can believe that, but the question still remains: if the, if you believe only in one God, then how can God have a God? That will make it two gods, will no, it not? I don't understand that. Which and, part? And you don't understand it either. Okay, which part do you not understand? Because I understand. Do you understand it? Yes. God can have a God. Actually, I don't say God have a God. You are the one who's saying that. 
Yeah. I'm saying God cannot have a God because there's only one God. And if there's only one God, then he cannot have a God. He is the ultimate authority. If I, if I were to say God has a God. That would be polytheism. No, not really. Really? I think it's okay because I don't have to understand God fully. You don't have to. I didn't ask you to understand God fully. Yeah, so God did not ask you to understand God fully. That's what this whole discussion is about. No, this discussion is about just to show you how many God is, whether it's one or three. You understand? The basics, the fundamentals, God has already told us in the Bible. Once again, you're ignoring the explicit verses, which tells you that God is one, and you want to believe God is three in one. Show me in the Bible where it says three in one. I don't need to. It doesn't say that. So why do you believe it? You said you're very convinced it, convinced about this three in one, but that's not in the Bible. You're convinced about the things which are not in the Bible, but clearly not convinced about the things which are clearly in the Bible. I don't think um, that I'm qualified enough to talk about you. How, wait, wait, when you say qualified enough, do you think I have a degree in being a pastor or a minister of the no, church? No, but you said that, that you spend time reading the Bible. Yes, as and a I Christian. I didn't spend time reading the Quran. So no, but, I, I'm, not but I'm not asking about the Quran. Yeah, but I would like to do Please do, but once you have studied it, then come and ask me. Yeah, only after, but... but yeah, but now we are not now, talking about the Quran, so it's, irre it's irrelevant. Yeah, now yeah. we are talking about the Bible. I'm expecting you as a Christian, yeah. have you read the Bible? And you said earlier, yes? Yes, I did. Yes, yeah. so what's the point then? Why, why would you say I'm not qualified to? If you have read the Bible, then you're qualified to talk about it. No, not necessarily, because I don't remember all the passages you're talking about. That's the reason I'm giving you the references. Yeah, and apparently, you know, I, I'm pretty sure I read most of them. Look, my friend, the reason I'm giving you the references yeah. is for you to check. You have checked the verse, the, uh, the clear verse which says, I go to my God and your God. Yeah. Yes, you said I have misinterpreted. I asked you to interpret it for me and still you don't, you're unable to do that. What does it mean when Jesus himself says, I, I go to my God, yes, and your God? I don't know, but I don't need to know. And okay, if you, don't, if, you, if you think understanding the Bible is not important for you, then why would God give you the Bible? It's not the most important thing. The most important thing is that I believe that Jesus died for my sins and that I'm free to go. That's and, and where is that information from? There is information. The Bible. Exactly. So the Bible is important. Because all your information about the about Jesus yeah. comes from the Bible. For you to say the Bible is not important for me to understand, no, no, no. then the you're basically are you're contradicting yourself now. If, if, well, to be honest, if God is three or one... It's not in the Bible, three. One, that is matter. in the Bible. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It does. No, because look, it doesn't matter to me. I'll tell you what. If on the day of judgment you go to God and you yeah. tell him that God, yes, yeah. I believed all my life and I was convinced because people told me and my pastor told me and my minister told me yeah. that you were three in one and God is going to ask you on the day of judgment, please show me in the Bible where he says three in one. Yeah. What are you going to do that day? I don't think that I have to do it, but if I did, then I, I fucked up. Then you will be messed up, exactly. Yeah, I know. Yes. That's don't you think it'll be don't you think you're playing with salvation here? Yeah, I do. Obviously. You're trying you're basically trying to put yourself in a position where you are basically taking a huge risk yeah, I know. of, of, of messing about with your salvation. Yeah, no no, it's blind belief. Yeah, what you're doing is blind belief. Yeah, exactly because you're going you're going on something which is not in the Bible. You're going really? You can show me in the Bible where God manifests as three persons? I just believe that's all in the end. Okay, so if you believe then it's not from the Bible, then what is it? You're a Muslim, right? Yes, I'm a Muslim. Yeah. So in the end it's either you who's going to be right or me, because apparently we don't seem to agree. Yes. Yeah. And so the point it's is just a bet. So you want to take a risk. Yeah. But you know what I'm I'm actually telling you to read your Bible. Yes. I'm telling you to based on your Bible, the Bible itself doesn't have any clear indication of the Trinity. Okay. This was a fourth century. Do you know it's a fourth century doctrine? It's not even in the Bible. It's a 4th century doctrine. Oh. The Athenian Creed, the, uh, the, uh, the Chalcedonian Creed, these came in the 4th century. Yeah, but I don't... 350, 325 years to 380 years after Jesus. Yes, I know. Yes? Yeah. So when Jesus was alive, he did not advocate the Trinity. When his disciples were alive, they did not advocate the Trinity. Paul himself did not advocate the Trinity. And so you're saying it doesn't matter. I don't care. I mean, you're basically taking a huge gamble here. Yeah, I know. That's, that's fine. Okay. If you're happy with that, then that's fine. Yes, I'm, uh, actually, I'm pretty happy. It sounds like you're offended. Because he's not trying to down your religion. He's not trying to tell you your religion's false. No, 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 what do you think it sounds like? What I'm, trying to, what I'm trying to explain is that he's not trying to offend your religion. What he's trying to explain to you is that's actually a message from God yeah, that's been corrupted. Yeah. And, and what he's trying to say, I believe, yeah. is that there's a third message. 
Yep. So like for example the Old Testament, New Testament, we're telling you the Quran. Yeah. But the Quran is uncorrupted and the New Testament is it has been changed by the hands of men. I Possibly I can, I can just just why, just clarifying. Yeah. Possibly by people who actually hated Christians at the time. So I'm just I'm just explaining because I'm just saying the way you're like, well, I don't really care. Uh, I'm accepting what I've got. I'm just saying if somebody came to me and told me that in the Quran uh, these problems and these problems, these problems, yeah. really, I would address them. Yeah. But that makes more logical sense. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, the log yeah go ahead. Um, right now, I, I don't have really the, of course. the possibility to, to, uh, to correct. That's fine. That's fine. What you can, you can say is, look, what, that's what that's you can say is, I can. I want to look in more into it. Yeah. Yes. And then maybe have a response to that. Yeah, By the way, and then, would you consider yourself an open-minded person? Uh, that's, a, that's a long pause. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is, is. That a, is that a no? <laughs> what do you define open an open-minded open means? Mind, like, um, would you would you to accept if if the message if if he was right, are you ready to accept it? Um, if I'm convinced, of course. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Okay, so if I if I asked you, or rather requested you, to read the Quran mm -hmm. with an objective, open mind. Mm -hmm. Would you do it? Um, yeah, sure, why not? I'm not telling you to believe it straight yeah. away. Obviously, you have to read it, analyze it, yeah. get convinced, and then believe in it. So, if I give you a copy of the Quran, would you read it? Um, I don't know. Is that a, is that a no? It's English. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay, okay, fair enough. Yeah, so, if I, I give I, you a German copy, then you would read it? Maybe, but. Why is that a myself is saying explicitly no, that he's going to be God? Bible. Say again? I'm talking about the two yeah. Bibles. Yeah, they, they are, have some passages which are the same, but on the other side, there are some passages that are not quite so are you expressed the same way. No, are you saying that the German Bible gives a different the message? Meaning will be the different. Yeah. Is, is Jesus the God in German Bible? Well, you could also ask yourself if the German and the Chinese Bible are the, are the same, but I don't think so because they are always different. The language is different, languages. but the verses will say the same thing. Will they not? Would they convey the same message? Um, they don't change. The same. They change the words, but they don't change the meaning. I, I, I think yeah. they change the meaning. No, they won't change the meaning. Well, that's a big problem if it does. Yeah. What is it? What if it changes the meaning, then it's a big problem. They are, they are, they are like um, how many? At least three different words for love in Greek. Yeah, like. Yeah. Uh, like but they all say love. Yeah, but they also love. But they, they all say love. Different it doesn't things. change the meaning. No, it does. If Jesus says in the English Bible, "I go to my God and your God," yeah. the German one will say in German the same thing. "I go to my God and your God." No, you can check it. He just did, he did earlier. He, he did check earlier, but somehow he seems reluctant to accept it, even though it's explicit. But he does say that. Does he say that in German? What? That uh, I go to your God and my God. Yeah, he because that, the yeah. Christian, English Christians who yeah. speak English, they have no problem with that. They have no, they don't say that it's different. They say this is the Hebrew, well, also so in Hebrew, for the Hebrew text. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I'm sorry. Is it? Yeah. By the way, is, is that your friend over there? Yes. Okay. Does he? Do you think he knows the Bible a bit more? Because uh, it would be know. it would be unfair for me to ask you if you didn't know if you didn't know the Bible yourself to question you on that. But if he knows a bit better, I would rather have a discussion with him as well if he wants to. <laughs> yeah, the guy with the hat. Oh, he's not your friend. Okay, okay, that's fine. No, I, yeah, that's fine. No, that's all right. So all I'm saying is that look. There are explicit verses in the Bible which says that Jesus is not God. Okay? There are explicit verses where Jesus says he has a God. There are explicit verses where Jesus says he doesn't know the hour or the time when he's going to come back, the last hour. There's explicit verses where Jesus uh, where, uh, basically says that God is immortal, that he does not die. I'm assuming you believe Jesus died, yes, on the cross? Yes, but also only because he is not only God but also man. Yeah, but if he's God and man, then he died, right? Which means he's immortal. Yeah, that's, see, that's the boundary of our thoughts. Of our thoughts of the, of no, it's not a boundary. It's it very is. clear. Because you can't he's either immortal or mortal. Yeah, Which one is he? Yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. You can't break this boundary. You, uh, I'm not breaking the boundary. Yeah. I'm actually keeping it within the boundary. Yeah, the boundary that's, says that's that if anyone who dies... Yeah, just, just, uh, just a few minutes. If a, God clearly says that he's immortal. Can yeah. you go against God's own... Um, explanation and uh, mention that he about his nature would you would you oppose that nature of God it's just the same thing as uh, if an irresistible, uh, irresistible force hitting an unmovable object I, I didn't quite get that what was yeah, that again sorry, and if God tells you that he oh, an unstoppable force. Yeah, if, if God tells you that he's the greatest yes there's no one greater than him would you then say no there is someone greater than him if God explicitly tells you this that he is the greatest, the almighty. Mm -hmm. Yes? 
the sovereign Lord of everyone, would you then go say, no, there's someone higher than you? Would you say that? Would you oppose God? Um, I don't suppose so. Good. So if God tells you that he's immortal, would you say that he's immortal? Um, if God explicitly tells you yeah. that he is immortal, does means he, he does not die. Not only does he tell me that he's immortal, but also that he's capable of doing all things. Yeah? No, no, wait, wait, wait. You're, you're conflating the two things. If God tells you something that he doesn't do, yes, would you go against that? I'll, I'll come to the second bit with you, no problem. I won't ignore that. If God tells you explicitly, remember, explicitly, very clearly, that he does not die, would you say he dies? That's not how we can break it down. Why not? Because Why did you not do the same thing with when God said that he's almighty? Why did you not debate that? Because he's everything at the same time. He's, he's not everything almighty. at the same time. He's you cannot be mortal and immortal at the same time. Then you're no, no, contradicting no, no, yourself. Not talking about mortal and immortal. But I'm talking about that. Oh, sorry, I didn't get that. So, once again, if God tells you that he's immortal, does he mean mortal? But if you're doing... No, but at the same time, he's still... Uh, he's still what? He's still immortal? No, but part, when he's Jesus, He's not only God, but also human. Yeah, but that's what I'm telling you. If Jesus is human and God, yeah. then he's immortal. You need to accept that. You can't have your cake and eat it. I can. No, you can't. I, see, this is... <laughs> this, 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 you're, unless you're telling me you're going to discard what God tells you and go by your own logic and your own understanding and your own... Uh, uh, what do you say? Your own uh, understanding and your own beliefs? Then that's fine. Then you're rejecting what God tells you explicitly. You are. If God tells you, look, First Timothy chapter 6, 16, go home and check it. God says that He alone is immortal. There are two very clear words here. Yeah, the no, word alone. God and Jesus are the same thing. So, my friend, you, let me finish. This is the Bible I'm discussing. When He says He alone is immortal, who lives in unapproachable light, whom no man hath seen or can see. Have people seen Jesus? Yes. So this is not talking about Jesus. The other thing God says is that He alone is immortal. Means no one else is immortal, only Him. Yes? Which is an exclusive statement telling you that no one else, not you, not me, not Jesus, not, not anyone else, is immortal, only God Almighty. Yeah, that is the Bible again. Unless you want to reject it, it's up to you. No, I don't think that's the Bible. I, I just gave you the... Twisting. Okay, if I'm twisting, you keep saying this. Okay. Have you Have you actually... No, no, wait. No, wait, wait. If you're saying you're, I'm twisting it, yeah. that means it implies you've read the verse. Which and you know about this verse. No, I don't know, but I don't have So to. why would you say I'm twisting it if you don't even okay. know the verse? No. You're making an allegation without even knowing what the verse says. No, that's not true. Okay, open your verse and you tell me which no, part I, I twisted. Why? Because you made an allegation against me. So I want you to back up your allegation with evidence. Otherwise, don't make the allegation. See? If I tell you you are lying, yeah. then I need to support my evidence. Yeah, 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 yes? Okay, that's just fine. Do you normally make allegations without supporting it? No. Now why did you just do it to me? <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, it is a good one. No, I like that. Good. So tell me which part did I twist? It says, He alone is immortal, who lives in an approachable light, whom no man has seen or can see. He alone is immortal. Yeah, he's talking about himself. About whom? About Jesus. About God. Is it Jesus? You can't accept. Wait, wait. Is it Jesus or no, is it I don't not? Have to answer. You can't accept. He doesn't have to it's answer. Every time it's a difficult question, you say, I don't want to answer. Yeah. Every other question you no, answer, no, no, but the ones which are difficult, no, you say, I don't want to answer. I'm not saying difficult. There's a verse. You can read it. Hmm? It must be difficult well, for a reason. Why is it difficult for you to answer? Must, there must be a reason. Yeah. Here's a verse if you think I'm twisting it. Okay. okay? You're yeah. going to apologize for your... You're not going to apologize no. for making an alle no, false allegation? No, because you don't okay, have to Okay, very finish. humble man. Why would you not apologize for an allegation that is false? Who said that is false? You just because you finish. said I twisted it. Yeah, and you don't did I twist it. it. Okay, did I twist it? In my opinion, you did. Which so part no, did I me, twist? Let me explain. What do you mean, is the verse? Was the verse the way he stated it? Honestly, you know. <laughs> was the verse the same? Was the verse the same? Which one? The one that he showed you, was it the way he said it was? I think. Uh, I think. But the, why don't have the courage say yes? No, no. I mean, uh, no. Did, you why? did you see the verse? Did you have a look at the verse? And, uh, no. no? He one? did. He did. He read the verse. Yeah, the one that he was. Uh, you know, Sorry. for you to make false allegations, 
I think you should have the courtesy to apologize. But if you don't want to do that, that's fine. Okay, it just shows your character. Maybe you don't like it. Maybe sorry doesn't come very easily for you. No. That's fine. Learn to be humble, young man. <laughs> yeah, but, but I don't No, I don't think I want to end it on that. What I want to what I want to say is this. When you come across explicit verses, clear verses, yeah. what is the reason for rejecting it? The reason for rejecting it is that I, in, um, contrary to you, accept that there are things that... Not me, no, no, this is you I'm talking about. You. I'm asking you this question. When you come across a clear verse... Yes, I answered, so let me... Yeah, but you're saying about me. I'm not saying about me. It. Yes, I, I will give you. But make sure it's with reference to you, not to me. The question was to you, why would you reject something which is clear in the world, Bible, like God is immortal? Why would you reject it? I don't think that you can put it that way. Okay, how would you put it? You tell me. <laughs> For me, it doesn't, everything has to, not everything has to make sense to me. I don't have to understand everything. I don't need to... Would you believe something you don't understand? No, 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 let me finish. Yeah, I don't need to get rid of... Um, oh man, okay. Of things that seem illogical, because I don't think that my God, I believe in, is something I can describe fully. Which we didn't ask you to? Hmm? Which we didn't ask you to? No, did, did I ever ask you to des describe yeah, God fully? Yeah, no, I didn't. I'm telling you, go best. I'm saying go best on the Bible. I didn't ask you to describe God fully. Never did. Never expect you to. God doesn't expect anyone to know God fully. Because it's beyond our ability. Yes, beyond so, our so scope. It's okay if I don't understand everything. Yeah, but I didn't ask you to understand everything no, about God. You asked, I asked you at least, I asked you to at least yeah, understand what God tells you in the Bible. Yes, Not even the Quran. Me. This is the Bible. God tells you in the Bible that He is immortal. Should I believe you? Who says God can die or should I believe the Bible where God says he doesn't die? Whom do I believe? You or God? Um, I think you should make up your own mind. Well, I did. Okay. Yeah, I did actually. I, I think, I thought if so. you were in my place, whom would you believe? God or me? Wait, yourself or God? No, no. If something I tell you, yeah. would you believe me or would you believe what God tells you? Mm, I would believe what God tells me. Thank you. So you're just like me then? No different. But yep. it seems like you don't want to believe what God tells you. No, no, no. You want to believe what other people tell you. You just said it. You will go by what God believes, or what God tells yeah. you. You just admitted that. And, I stand it and now you're going to backtrack again? No, no, no. I understand okay, so let me ask you again. Would you believe what God tells you or would you believe what humans tell you? I understand it differently what God tells me. That's all I have to say. Okay, so if That's God tells answer. you that he doesn't die, he's immortal, what do you understand by that? When God tells you that he's immortal, yeah. what do you understand by that? Because the meaning of the word immortal means someone who does not die. Yeah. What do you understand by the word immortal in the context of that verse? He alone is immortal. What do you understand by that? Because he cannot die. Thank you. So your, you said your understanding is different, but it seems like even your no, understanding is the same. That. You just said, I no. understand it differently. You said, I understand it differently. No, so let me, get, let me summarize this. You would believe what God, belie what God tells you. Yes? Agreed? You would understand the meaning of immortal as someone who doesn't die. Agreed? Okay. Okay. Keeping these two in mind, do you believe God can die? Now think carefully before you answer because you always rush to. This time I want you to take your time. Think carefully to the question with regards to the question that God is immortal and God is telling you that he is immortal mm -hmm. and you understand that that means he does not die. Now the question to you is this. Can God die? Yes. There you go. End of story. <laughs> Maybe we should shake hands and just quit here because it looks like you're contradicting yourself and you don't even realize it. I'm sorry to say that.